the Jews. And it was a Jewish house at that time when I investigated, and still it would be perhaps the same, who owned the entire para and entire um, this Thorfam, uh, I was surprised to find this, and when I investigated and asked the, some of the shopkeepers there, my, the, my information uh, proved to be correct because somebody who had investigated, he was a Swiss who was working in Kabul who had reported all this to me. Swiss Amity by the name of Rafiq Chanan, you know him perhaps. So he said that they are not the proprietors of these shops. Those uh, Pathan whom you find at Rindi Gothal, a majority among them are just agents. So, and the goods are the property of a Jewish house. So when I asked, uh, after learning it, I asked these shopkeepers, small uh, shopkeepers of various kind, they agreed that this is, they are just agents. They didn't know who, whose agents they were, but they knew that they, they didn't own that property. They just went, there was an agency house somewhere in Kabul, and they went there and got the goods and paid them back. So, my point was, you see, is there any possibility that Hindu would be another tribe of uh, Anisai? The Spaniards? No, Spanish. I doubt it very much, because their origin is completely different. <coughs> in their very far away ancestry, maybe 15, 20,000 years earlier, they might have a common origin from the Central Asia. That is possible, of course. And uh, but to say that uh, they they were they were the offsprings of the Jews or Bani Israels found in the Middle East, this is incorrect because their history is preserved. Another question, if you would allow me, is that uh, you know, I had a friend, he was my colleague, he was now a teacher, Mr. Chandra, at that time. We all, you, always used to discuss the matter, you see. And I always told him, you see, that you were good for us, you see. What? That you were good for us, you were worshipping fighters. He said, no. What he told me, and uh, what he tried to convince me was, that it was not that particular idol he was worshipping. He was worshipping uh, <coughs> This is the electrical question you can ask yesterday and day before. You can get to it in detail. Unfortunately, I was actually yesterday and day before. And in spite of his argument, what he told me was that you also go around your car, you also face towards Ah, But I was not absent yesterday, so I know all this. And then you also worship Kaaba? Yes, I read what I am telling you. Yesterday this was also mentioned and I answered the question keeping in view this particular angle of the, of the question. And I would like to go after the question. Thank you. So, Vishish Sahib, please. Before you say, could I add about this? Yes, yeah, okay. Okay, just a moment. Uh, sorry, when are there is uh, no power washing? In the Veda there is no Kaurashi, rather the Rig Veda says, enjoys that if you want to rear up your children, uh, give them cow meat, or very young cow meat. It was later on by Shankaracharya that this was brought in. How much later on? Centuries later on. So, centuries from, how many centuries ago? Uh, Shankaracharya is not very old then. I don't exactly remember the, the century. So Vedas yes. are not uh, books written in one particular period. Yes. They are spread over to about 2000 years. So they have a very large history. So when you say much later, 
a few hundred years ago, even that would be very early. Yes. But for the uh, Gita was written about uh, 600 years after the last uh, Veda was uh, out of the four books, I mean, the last was written. So that comes later on. So was it before uh, Krishna or after Krishna? Uh, after Krishna, this and Krishna. I mean, is he, is he uh, I mean, an old figure or just a recent one? And that's all right. All of these. He was the person who raised his banner against Buddhism and was responsible for the expulsion of the Buddhists. How do you talk about that? But he was a uh, evil guy, wasn't he? No, sir. Shankar Chandra. Evil guy. Evil guy. Evil guy. Yes. Okay. I must have advised, I must have advised to say about this. He was brought by Sri Lanka, so I am missing the difference by Will you kindly let us know about I will proceed because it's so much important, especially the so the books is a very great importance for I think to see it every day. What about the people who want to know about that? This is to be read every day and it's be good for there is some kind of, uh, they say that uh, the safeguard of your house uh, and the place. Against what? Against what? Against thieves uh, or like this kind of thing. Why don't you say then? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's just... Uh, <laughs> even when I have not mentioned that mention anyway, I have to proceed to the next thing. The first time I am mentioned. In some books, uh, uh, is there this thing there? Not in any books of traditions. Can I really reflect upon the, these uh, verses that have a very great significance of the Bible? No, the books you have read, I have not read. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> the ones about fear and so on. I, ca I can only tell you this, that this is the most beautiful verse, single verse, on the qualities of uh, Allah which uh, has been admired by even the greatest opponents of the Holy Quran. The whole Ayatul Kursi, though it is meant to be many verses, is just a single verse. And it tells so much about Allah and His relationship to mankind, and to the universe and everything, that uh, is most awe-inspiring and very rich and deep and wide in meaning. So if you concentrate on it while you are reading and uh, you'll find it very thought provoking and new ideas would uh, seem to be emerging from these, this single verse and throwing light on very, you know, many aspects of uh, human interest which uh, this verse will light up for you, inshallah. But to begin to comment on this, this is no place. That's why I'm avoiding it. By the existence of God is mentioned in this book. What? Existence of God. No, not only this, I mean, there's so many things. I'm just uh, pointing out that if you read this verse, concentrating <coughs> on its meanings and delving deep into its meanings, then you will find what I say. This has to be experienced rather than to, to be told. The most beautiful single verse in the Holy Quran, a single verse, I mean. The other thing is that uh, Surah Mulk is also, uh, people say that it's uh, in the region of it, so that this will cover the uh, man who will be really this verse, uh, 
in the next world that he 